Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Switch here. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. It's 7 a.m. for me and I decided to do it on the weekend basis. Sort of like keto um, approach videos. Well, basically everything what I'm doing on my daily basis. So it's going to be a supplementation, it's going to be a keto diet. Uh, I will do like uh, vlogs at some point from my Instagram. There's like lots of stuff on my Instagram because the main idea on the channel before, which I done it before I done a couple of videos, was basically um, healthy lifestyle and diet. Then turns out to play a Diablo. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like if you want to be like a you know consistent person with normal living, and I'm talking about like a working and having like an energy so that the, the best way is obviously to eat healthy and know a little bit about the healthy diets and i don't saying like the keto is the best way lots of diets these days it's a lot of lots of diet, diets these days and basically you just need to choose the diet uh, it suits for you so in this video uh, we're just going to read uh, how long does it take to enter the ketosis and I will just uh, say a little bit from my background. Although um, you need to be convinced you want to go into the keto. So I think I'm supposed to do the video about why I like the keto and what's the reasoning by to going to the keto. But to not misleading anybody, we're just going to carry on like you're already convinced to go to the keto and we're just going to read a little bit uh, how long does it take to enter the keto state and maybe tomorrow I will do why, why it's basically why I am on the keto. Uh, what's the reason behind it? Although I never been because this is my third time, I never been like uh, more than a year. So it was uh, like two times about like nine months ish or something like that. And then I'm swapping to totally whatever I like. And then I'm just going back to the keto because it's like really ener energized diet. Anyway, though, so we're just going to jump to it. I say, uh, how long does it take to enter the keto ketosis? Um, it's some health line article. Uh, basically what I'm doing, like most of you people, uh, most of you guys, uh, excuse me, well, my, my English need to improve. That's why I just swap into English. And to merge with it, right? If you're not using it on a daily basis, you'll be sucking all the time. So, um, and I forget my plot. It's, it's me, it's Switch. Switch, who forget the plot? Just give me a second guess. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, how, how long does it take to the enter to the ketosis? Um, yeah, I forget my plot. I don't know what I want to talk about. Obviously, I want to talk about this article tomorrow. I will do why I am on the keto and maybe we're just going to carry on with it. And uh, somehow uh, I will just, I don't know, try to figure it out, figure it out what I was talking about. So uh, the ketogenic, ketogenic diet, how oh, I was talking about the, like most of you guys searching the, on the YouTube, the, the uh, topics, uh, not on the YouTube, well, YouTube as well, but the Google. So obviously I just search this from the Google. I usually reading a few, like three, four, five, and if I'm happy, almost like happy-ish with the article and then we're just gonna jump into it. And this one, uh, it seems to be all right. And then I found it already like how to prepare or uh, how to understand the 48 hour fasting. And believe it or not, I'm second. It's my uh, second week, actually. First week being on the keto and I'm just doing again the fasting and I think I will be just doing every weekend since last week and I will explain that as well at some video. Okay, I'm just going to start because it's like four minutes. Well, it's not that bad. Four minutes is not that bad. Okay, we, <laughs> we're starting now. We're starting now. Uh, if there have been some confusion, that's, that's normal uh, for me and for you guys. You just need to uh, get used to it. Switch like to confuse and jumping like to 20 subjects before starting the video. So here we go. How long does it take to enter ketosis? Also, I know I need to read and talk slower because then if I'm reading like I'm reading, the, some people might not understand and also it's, well, not correctly, right? It's not really correct. I will try, I will try to slow down. I, like people don't understand like, you can be in early 40s and you can still be like HD, HD, but it's not the HD, HD, this is just, this is just healthy lifestyle. If you're on the keto and you, I mean, if you never tried the keto and you will jump to the keto, you'll be surprised 
how energy, like how much energy you have. I, I think like every or most of the um, streamers of some no lifers there on the keto because it's just really um, easy to do it. You don't really wasting any time and you have lots of energy. But this is not the topic for now. Okay, starting. <clears throat> so the ketogenic diet is one of the most po popular low carb diets on the planet. Obviously, the uh, quick tip. Uh, I mean, I don't know every. I'm not fluent in English, so in some cases, some words I might just misspell and don't even understand. But I will just use the dictionary if I don't understand something. But uh, actually, I passed the nutrition college <laughs> in English uh, online, though. But still, uh, so it's supposed to be fine with reading. But Fun fact, actually, on the nutritionist, as a nutritionist, I am right now, I uh, didn't really have any stuff on the keto, but also with that being said, I gave to my tutor, like, lots of examples on the keto way, and she approached this, like, in, in the normal way, so she actually been being agree with uh, my thought process about the keto diet, so uh, they're actually familiar with it, but um, there's none of the keto um nutritionist college or maybe i'm not aware of anyway okay i need to start at some point that's me that's me six minutes six minutes introduction six minutes okay though um the ketogenic diet is one of the most popular low carb carb diets on the planet all right uh, it helps uh, your body switch its main fuel source from glucose glucose i supposed to spell it Glucose, right? A type of sugar to ketones, compounds made by breaking down fat that serve as an alternative fuel source. So, um, and that's why we want to get to the keto state. So then we are the, our liver producing the keto cells, basically. And then we just burning the fat instead of the carbs. And basically it's a happy day because... Everybody who are obese or like uh, just uh, slightly obese, I'm not talking like you, like you really huge person. I'm just talking like from my point of view, like for example, you are slim, but you have like a little bit of, you know, fat um, and you just want to do uh, like do nothing and burning the fat. You might think like, wait, what? And that's actually happening. That's what's happening. Obviously, um, it's not like you're not doing anything because, well, at the end of the day, you're going to school or college or, or work or whatever. And then you might do some also exercise. But the diet is amazing because you don't really need to do any exercise at all. And you will just burn the fat. But the, you just need to get to that keto state. Uh, a ketogenic diet mm, not only helps you lose weight, but it's also linked to numerous benefits such as increased level of HDL, which is a good cholesterol, cholesterol and reduced blood sugar, insulin and triglyceride levels. So, um, reducing blood sugar, insulin and triglyceride levels. Um, you don't really need to be on the keto diet. Uh, to reduce the level of insulin and uh, blood sugar, just simply you just need to avoid like tons of sugar. But this is really hard to maintain. Just simply, I will put this that way. Like five years ago, I used to on the weekend, for example, I was fancy. I really like uh, cheesecake. I really like cheesecake though, and I was just buying like a plain plate of cheesecake, which is like whatever, Tesco, uh, Asda, and they just like, I believe so they're like one kilo cheesecake. And I was able to eat this like at once. And I don't know what's the exactly glycemic index. Um, excuse me, well, not glycemic index uh, right now, I'm talking like, I don't know how, what's the amount for just 100 grams of that uh, cheesecake, like uh, how much sugar is in it. Um, but I think so, if you're eating already, like, a 100 gram is already, uh, like, above and beyond of the level of the insulin. So, uh, basically, yeah, your insulin levels are, how to put it, not correct anymore, and you will just feel sleepy all the time. 
So like uh, most people think like, oh, okay, if you eat like uh, carbs and sugar, that will give you the energy, but this energy is just like uh, for like, I don't know, couple of minutes, maybe to half an hour. Well, there are some things like you can actually eat sweets like before like a proper workout or just straight after. But for the most people, like, for example, you have a Friday night and you want to eat, you know, crepes, some beer and some sweets like most of the people do on the weekends, usually like a massive amount, uh, which I've done it before. Um, so that will just put you to the sleep, basically. So you no longer like uh, insulin and I just forget the English name. Mm, but you know exactly what I'm talking about, or if not. Mm, I need to I need to Google the, the Polish the Polish word. I mean the Polish word to um Immune. To the English. Immune, insulin immune, yeah, exactly. And just sometimes I have like a brain freeze, like immune, right? So yeah, you you don't have the uh, uh, insulin immune basically uh like I, I like think like the most people don't realizing that because well firstly what's the point to check in like you're immune or not uh but you probably not if you're just eating like like well it's not normal but like an average person and you don't have any idea about the diets and you're just eating like whatever you like uh, you don't have any immune for the insulin and with that being said uh, every Every snack, high carb snack, is just basically putting you down to the sleep. It's the same like you will just having like a injection with the insulin. Like you don't really want to have any like insulin injection, aren't you? But basically everything because you're eating is like just insulin injection, which just putting you down to the sleep. Um, in the most cases uh, you can be familiar with this, and this is not like you just adult and you're having that. You can be just a kid. You can be like a 15 years old, uh, and when you can notice this like really um excuse me when you can notice you actually going to that like a sleep mode so the usually is happening on the lunch so if you're having like your lunch at school or at work and usually the most people uh, what they do there is some well i'm just gonna say i'm not going to sugar sugarcoat it's just some shitty food but i used to eat that as well so that's why i know like a white toast bread with a butter and a slice of the cheese and a slice of the ham and nothing uh, like uh, vegetables at all but also with that being said even if you will add like a one veggie to it doesn't really change anything because at the end of the day this white bread is just like a tons of sugar because the white breads are the white carbs and the carbs are the sugar basically like uh, people when they just think in the carbs they don't really think there's the sugar but the carbs are basically the sugar mm -hmm. so uh, by eating this white bread and like from the point of view of the British citizen I am uh, lots of uh, British uh, people like to oh, lots of Brits like to basically eat like a uh, additional carbs which is the um, crisp, crisp into it to the sandwich and I also add that before don't get me wrong but this is the best way to basically fuck up your body and insulin level so after munching that, obviously you didn't really eat anything important to your body so then you're just getting to the sleep mode because you just excess um you just exceed your uh, level of the insulin and if you will add some snack to it like um you know muffin or donut fuck me you're already fucked up i mean you don't realize this because at the end of the day you will just get used to to the tiredness and you think that's all right you try it because you are at work but that doesn't work like that like that and i was basically i were living in the matrix guys like i just wtf like strong the fuck is going on like when you actually swapping into the keto Alrighty, uh, because actually like as you can see i like to talk uh, a lot so i don't really want to make this video super long because uh, at the end of the day like i'm random person and it's like a new channel so nobody is going to probably listen to me uh, but uh, also with that being said i'm doing this for myself to improving my english to improving and stay in the keto knowledge um and if somebody actually will be watching this i'm really happy about it if somebody like it you can like the video if you like obviously if not this like doesn't really matter um but uh, we're just going to jump to the rest of the article so uh, however some people find that it takes them much longer to enter ketosis than others and um, honestly with me i'm not even checking that and then somebody might ask you ask me like 
Okay, so Switch, if you're not checking, that's how you know that. Well, I just know. Believe me on this one. Uh, no, no, we won't believe you. That's that's not that's not the proper app. Well, well, I'm really strict with it. It's not like I'm uh, I'm I'm even strict with like. Well, that sounds strange. Like with the carbs, you have to be strict with the carbs. But what I mean by it, like uh, um, the my carbs only during the day is just the broccoli. So. <laughs> that's it that's it so i'm really strict lots of obviously water lots of the himalayan salt and right now it's my first week and i'm doing again the fasting so i'm really strict with it obviously for the first month and then on the second month we can add a little bit extra of the carbs obviously it depends how big you are how massive you are so you can add a little bit more or less um, but you just need to count this by yourself. How much the calories, how much uh, carbs do you need? But um, what I'm trying to say, you shouldn't be really worried about this. If you have like a proper approach to the keto diet, you don't really need those, uh, you know, stripes, urine stripes, which I actually have, have it. But I didn't really check. I didn't really check. I mean, I might just check today. Whatever. Um, I just following the rules following uh, the stuff which i done before i feeling great uh i didn't add anything i just start today my morning uh with the uh, half of the liter water with the himalayan salt with the apple cider vinegar with vitamin c i post that on my instagram so you can look at on my instagram with like actually reading a lot below that picture also explaining the stuff so um yeah so that's my day and that's going to be everything and my last supper and um, my last supper last night's supper was around 6 p.m so uh, to today at 6 p.m is going to be 24 hours again and obviously on the sunday at 6 p.m is going to be 48 hours so 48 hours is more than enough it's like it's my second fasting so i probably need like just 24 hours to boost my keto if i'm not in the keto but i probably i already i am um and I can just eat on Sunday, but we'll see. I mean, I'm just feeling energized. Although the yesterday, I'm just gonna talk a little bit. Although the yesterday, uh, because I'm just having like a work duty right now, a building site working, so I was really tired. Um, although I've done my workout as well after after work. So uh, yesterday I was so tired and uh, what I mean by it, like uh, today I woke up at 6 a.m. again and I'm really tired right now. I'm so tired, so I don't even want to eat. I don't <laughs> even want to eat, but this is actually good because uh, I'm just boosting, you know, my, my ketones. So uh, that's great. That's great. Um, actually, I feel awake right now after I'm talking for 20 minutes. So that's that's all right. Okay, though. So uh, what's more many struggle? What's more many struggle to enter ketosis in the first place? Um, this article tells you how long it takes to enter ketosis and why you may not be there yet. So, and I suppose to add the article so about the glycogen and basically the most or every I think like most articles they will be aiming to like thirty six hours, uh, but some of them telling you like after twenty four hours. But I'm trying to do like the most ammo mm, they explaining in the articles and the most ammo the most efficient ammo is close to 48 hours so if you are not afraid to doing like a intermittent fasting for 48 hours which is like nothing because you're drinking lots of water uh, lots of teas you can even drink uh, like a, a small um, bulletproof coffee and by small i don't mean the amount of the coffee i mean the amount of the fat because obviously your body it's not turning into the fat yet so there's no point really to like boosting but the thing is when you get to the keto you don't need to eat anything because then you're just getting the energy as a fat from your body as a main source so you just need to basically go with it and don't think about it. Like if you are struggling to not eat for one day, then you obviously you are bulimic and there is no question asked. If you're just questioning yourself like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm not going to do this. How, how I can not eat one day? So then you bulimic and then you just Google the, what's the bulimic if you don't know, but I think you are aware, like people are aware, right? So, um, 
and this is like really nasty and well how to say it it's really hard to get off from it because i have a friend which is one of those uh, people um, don't get me wrong i had the attacks of eating a lot uh, but only on Saturdays, like uh, I was buying, like I was able to eat like 3,000 to 4,000 per one day of just crap food. But that was my cheat days during like really high intensive workouts during the some period of time. Like sort of, for example, I was like six months on the gym. So we can say I was aware of what I'm doing, but still, you know, I was like a massive, uh, massive uh, junk food Saturdays. Sometimes it was like a full weekend, but right now, what I'm trying to say, like lots of people, they eating on a daily basis, lots of junk food, and not it's not the eating, it's just gobbling, it's just like, um, you're not eating like one or two cookies, it's just eating, eating like at once, in one go, like two to three package of cookies, which like, for example, one package of cookies is 1500 calories, so you can just consume like 4500 calories, 4500 calories in one go, like literally in five minutes, and there you go. And then you're eating like another four to five meals during the whole day, and then you think like, oh, how come? I'm still fat, but I'm doing the, uh, my daily routine of, I don't know, cardio, like, uh, on my, I'm cycling every day, I'm still fat, so like people... Uh, some people like don't have any idea of like how to get rid of it in the first place. So the f first few things first, eat less or even better. So go, go to the keto and you don't need to eat anything at all. Obviously, everybody have a different uh, goals, different approach to the diet. Like right now, uh, my reasoning is just to purely have more energy because like I said, so I'm just right now working hard. So I need energy. It's for me, it's not, I want to look good. I just, for me, is the energy. But like I said, everybody have a different goal. Some people are on like a strict, strict diet because they're like a fitness instructors or they're just the models or something. Some people just want to get rid of the, like really there you are obese. We want to remove the fat for me. It's like, actually I'm sort of slim person with like 22% of the body fat right now, which is a little bit more from my BMI. So I'm a little bit obese, but still, if you will look at me, like you, are, I'm the slim guy. So my reasoning behind it is just to get more energy. Alrighty. So um, this article tells you how long it takes to enter the ketosis. Okay, so uh, I read this. Uh, it's not going to be that much. We're having like how long does it take to enter the ketosis right now? How long to tell? How to tell? Excuse me. How to tell whether that's my issue? I need to get rid of it. Like I'm reading faster. I'm talking faster than I'm reading, so I need to slow down. How to tell whether you're in the ketosis, so that I explained already, like you don't really need to be aware of this. How long does it take to enter the ketosis? The best is going to be a 48 hours, believe me on this one. And the simple, simple way, just do, do that on the weekend because you don't need to go anywhere. But also you don't need to be afraid to doing the workouts. You don't need to be afraid if you're actually going to the work and you're working. Because if you're not eating, there's so much benefits. Your body don't need to pump out the blood for the, you know, extra digestion. So your heart actually uh, have less, you know, workouts to do. And it's, it's just amazing. There's so many benefits from it. I will just read it through in a minute. I just want to show you how much it's going to be. Ways to measure ketone levels. I never done it. And then we have the summary. And then we have uh, why does some people take longer to the other ketosis? and tips to get into ketosis faster. Actually, it's quite a lot of stuff, this bottom line. Okay, okay, I just need to uh, read through it. Um, okay, so how long does it take to enter the ketosis to reap the uh, benefits of ketogenic diet? Your body must enter a state uh, called ketosis. But I think I already explained everything, like really uh, basic. Uh, well, my English is not that vivid though, so uh, I think like uh, it's... Uh, very basic and easy to understand what I'm talking about. This is a metabolic state in which your body converts fat into molecules called ketones, which I already explained, which is used as its main source of energy when glucose, 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 I suppose to, I mean to, I need to check how to spell it. Uh, 
I know it's not the professional glucose. way, glucose, to do it, the, the the video. But I mean, at the end of the day, I, I need to learn from it as well. So this is not like just for you guys; it's just for me. But my major, like my, mostly, is for me. A type of sugar is limited, and the best way to reach ketosis is to drastically reduce your intake of carbs, and that's what uh, we are going to do. That's what I'm doing right now today. Uh, for the weekend and after fasting I will just eating the broccoli 500 grams of broccoli it's equivalent uh, to 20 not even 20 gram of carbs so, so there you go uh, in your digestive tract carbs are broken down into sugar molecules such as glucose glucose so they can travel across the bloodstream and be used for energy. If your body has excess glucose, it can be stored in your liver and muscles. And basically that 36 hours, some people saying like 24, like some vlogs, but usually it's 36 to 48 hours to remove the whole glycogen, which is the uh, basically glucose from the liver and the muscles in its store form as a glycogen. So the thing is, you can still work out. You can do the cardio on the fasting days and you can remove the glycogen even faster though. So if you're working out easily 36 hours or maybe even the um, 24, but the thing is like, if you've never been on the keto, like what's the point to um, fasting like 24 hours? Just just go for it. Just do proper normal two, you know, days. And then there you go. Then you, then you, don't, then you know you've done something some proper approach to it not like oh my god i'm just gonna do the 24 hours because i might be in the keto and then you don't know you're on the keto and then well you may you can eat only 20 grams of carbs for first month anyway so um or maybe you even supposed to strict stick with that 20 carbs so there's not going to be like a miracle like you're just gonna fast for 24 hours and then okay you can do some snack but what do you mean like what snack slice of cheese Maybe with the a couple of slices of bacon and the sausage, yeah, that that might be that. That's the way. That's the way to go. <laughs> it's not going to be like a. Oh, maybe I'm gonna eat a piece of chocolate. My mate uh, asked me like, um, switch. What well, you wanna eat? You wanna eat? You wanna eat the 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 uh, the snack? And usually, what he's munching is the crisps. Crisp. Um. Okay. That's that's great though. But I'm trying to explain. There's not such thing like. I'm afraid of eating like one crisp from it because of the calorie intake. I'm just can't eat it because that will just fuck up my procedure, fuck up my keton ketones. So what's the point, you know? And then then you have to go again like 48 hours or 36 hours or for 24 hours of the fasting, which actually I'm doing right now as my second weekend. But just don't get me wrong, you just don't want to fuck up your uh, progress and. Already after 48 hours is a progress because you're swapping your body. So if you swap your body, you just want to maintain your body for the couple of months and then you can do like, I don't know, a month of whatever eating you want and then just swapping again. You don't need to be constantly on the keto. I will explain that at some point because some people might think like, oh my God, I'm on the keto. Right now I need to be on the keto for the rest of my life. No, you fucking don't need to be on the keto for the rest of your life. You just jump for a couple of months, jump again to eat whatever fuck you want and then jump on the keto and just try to... Uh, understand how the body works how the different diets works how approach you know your life to be um you know um confident with uh, you know and aware of what are you doing so there you go um it's not like you need to be on the keto but this is the topic for a different uh, video uh, basically okay that would be really hard to me to read this through because i i think all the time like Thoughts, different thoughts, different approach from the stuff which I'm reading. So, um, the best way to reach ket ketosis dramatically reduce your intake of carbs. Yeah, that's what I read in your di uh, well, I read that as well. Excuse me. Uh, by drastically reducing your carb intake to under 50 grams per day. Um, yeah, well, actually, that's too much for like getting into the keto that's supposed to be 20 or less um although there might people might say like and maybe that's well that might be true like after that fasting you're in the in the keto right but we don't really know we after the fir first two days 
in the keto state. So the best approach is just to do 20 grams. Just do 20 grams for first month uh, and fasting in between. Like first start with the fasting and then do just one after another one after two weeks if you're not really fancy to do on the first week. It's it's I think it's just after you're getting experience and the feeling to the fasting, you're gonna call it like that because uh, I first time I'm doing like a second weekend of fasting, but I I just I just fine I just fine, but you need to be hydrate properly, and and there you go if you hydrate properly, vitamin C, uh, hydration, Himalayan salt, apple cider vinegar, and you might add some other supplements if you fancy. Uh, obviously, you need to understand why you're eating them. Not like some people buying supplements because they see the like nice advertising with some nice uh, body type uh, people and yeah we're just gonna get this because that's going to give us the that boost that edge to look nice to look nice but that doesn't work like that does it alrighty so uh in this article we just uh, they're just introducing to the 50 grams per day there are different states of the keto i used to be on the keto which i used to eat like a hundred carbs almost uh, per day it was uh, 80 to 100 carbs um but that was like crazy workouts every day so i was just munching like 80 grams before workout like yeah and then that 20 from the other source of the food during the day so i was almost like on the 100 carbs per day still maintaining the keto so yes the you can do this so there's a couple of way on the keto uh approach uh, your body is forced to use up its glycogen stores for energy and uh, so i have just a half an hour i want to start my start my stream with the magic the gathering that's my uh, goal for Saturday and eventually switch to use ketones as a fuel. There you go. The time it takes to enter ketosis varies from varies from person to person. Obviously, it depends uh, how big you are. Um, also, it's depending like if you've been on the keto before because your body will remember you actually can switch off between uh, the carbs and the keto. So that's why and lots of people like to be a little bit on the keto when they cutting and then just jumping again to like a proper carbs diet uh, lots of bodybuilders doing this way and then some people well obviously like lots of lots of uh, are on the steroids but there is some group of the bodybuilding uh, you know community which they're not taking any steroids and you can be ripped uh just being on the keto for like long duration a couple of months on the keto and you'll be ripped especially if you have like lots of muscle so um yeah so there's like the easiest way to look like those guys from you know uh, men's health magazines or whatever you if you are a female so uh female health whatever it's called woman health and yeah there you go you can be like really easily ripped uh, with natural uh, keto diet. In general, it takes two to four days if you eat 20 to 50 grams of uh, carbs per day. However, some people might find it takes a week or longer to reach this state. Uh, some factors that can affect how long it takes to enter ketosis include your typical daily carb intake, your daily fat and protein intake, exercise, your age and your metabolism. And that metabolism, I need to do like a um, other video as well. Once I dive into that subject and then I realize like your metabolism. This is just like statements with the lots of crap and bollocks because the difference between like 30 years old metabolism and 15 years old kid, it's just like literally if we're going to count this as a daily burning of calories, we're talking about 200 of calories, which is like nothing. Obviously the metabolism, high metabolism have like a different stuff as well. You are more active. So it's not because um, the metabolism is just like the magic word and like a magic stuff which burn you the calories. The metabolism basically make you more hyperactive. So as a kid, you after a school, you're going to play a football and then after four hours of playing football, you're going to cycling two hours and then you just, I don't know, uh, jumping on the trees, trees two hours, whatever. Basically, you just whole day long. You don't really care about what you're eating. But basically, the most of the kids they're not really eating anything. Uh, well, back in the days in Poland, 
I know, I just didn't really bother, even in the summer time, so I didn't really bother to eat the breakfast, and I just was playing the football all day, all day long. I didn't even bother to take the water bottle or anything, and, uh, during the, like, uh, you know, 20, uh, it was like a 20 p.m., for example, so like from 8 a.m. to 20, uh, I was able to play the football all day long, and then just, you know, um, eat uh, some supper and just go to bed, and I'm fine, I'm fine, so... Uh, Obviously, the right now the things are changed. Uh, lots of kids eating like a McDonald's these days on a daily basis. So uh, yeah. Uh, so they, but still they have like a proper metabolism, but just too many calories intake. So uh, what I'm trying to say, you don't really need to be afraid of how old you are. It just and age as well. There's not really such thing like. A, because you're 40 or 50, you can't be uh, ripped. No, that's that's bollocks. You probably need like a... If you're really obese, I'm t I think like two to three years. If you just slightly about like uh, six months. Uh, so obviously everybody are different. But if you will start from now, like two years, two, three. So it'll be just like from the magazine. But you need to be strict with it, obviously. And uh, it's really hard. So exercise, yeah, that's a good way as well to burn the calories. For example, people who typically consume a high carb diet before starting a keto diet may take longer. And that's what I said. Like, yeah, if you like have like really junk foods diet all the time, so it's going to be harder to enter the ketosis. Then those who generally eat a low, low to moderate carb diet, this is because your body needs to deplete its glycogen stores before entering the ketosis. So. And for those who've been already in the keto before, they will be like even faster though, because your body, it's programmed to remember the other states, like how to switching off. Um, that's why you can do like a massive even cheat days, like you are following a strict keto diet and you can do like a massive cheat days on Saturdays. Like you don't really care what you're eating. Like two pizzas, two cup of ice creams, whatever, beers. And then you're just doing one day of fasting on Sunday, and then just going back to the to the uh, your regime, to your working out and eating strictly. So you can do that as well. Like most of the people avoid that just simply because they want to remain on the proper keto all the time. Because after that massive cheat day, you might not be after one day of fasting going back straight away to the keto. But on that cheat day, you're supposed to work out like really hard like you know like one workout like a bodybuilding like dumbbells and stuff and then we're talking about the cardio i used to be in like even five six hours uh last year on saturdays or on sundays like six hours seven hours on the gym so i wasn't really you know i care too much what i'm eating i was just checking how much calories i ate and how much calories i burn and that's it and so i just bring like a muffins bananas like a chocolate bars, whatever I was fancy to the gym and I was just munching that constantly during the workout. So I wasn't waiting like for some super, some, uh, I don't know, window to eat. I was just munching all the time, like, uh, you know, doing the deadlift, 160 kilos. And then when I was resting, I was munching a banana with the chocolate bar and just drinking the water. And there you go. You can just eat, eat and burn. And it's still cheat day, right? Right, because your your brain is going to be uh, refreshed because well, you're working out, but you're eating whatever you like, and you can start your day with whatever fancy you are. I was just eating even pizza in the morning, like with the muffins. <laughs> so there you go, the best uh, workout, uh, pre-workout meal ever: uh, pizza, pizza, and muffins. Uh, believe me, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I really, <laughs> I really like to eat the cold pizza from the last night. I don't know, it's just me. I like to eat lots of cold people. So, um, yeah, this typically takes two to four days to enter ketosis. If you eat fewer than 50 gram of carbs, I think I need to a little bit speed up with this article because I don't really have that much time, 20 minutes to spare for this one. I need to do the schedule for my weekends as well because I just want to, you know, do a, a little bit of everything. Um, how to tell whether you're on the ketosis or not? Well, as your body transitions to ket ketosis, you may experience several symptoms, sometimes known as the keto flu. Uh, this includes headache, fatigue, nausea, bad breath, and increased thirst. Uh, and with that being said, I need to drink a water. Sorry, guys. Talking like 40 minutes without drinking. That's strange. 
Although in some cases you won't be able to hydrate, hydrate like, you know, at the time you want to be hydrated. So uh, at my workplace, I'm actually hydrating, like obviously before the starting the work and then I have two hours to the break and then I have another two hours to the break. So, well, two hours is not, not that bad, but usually you're supposed to drink like every hour. Every hour is the best way because you don't really want to hydrate when you feel you need to hydrate, you need to hydrate constantly. That means then you are properly hydrated. If you're thirsty, that means you are not hydrated properly. I mean, most people don't care. Most people don't realize. And most people think like, oh, I need to hydrate because my mouth are thirsty. Well, mate, you not hydrate at all. Well, it's the best way just to check your urine, right? When you just taking a piece and then you see if it's like a really orange color that means you're not hy hydrated properly it's supposed to be like almost close to the uh, white color right um colorless um ba -ba 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 -ba. so and the ketones yeah you can buy those you know uh ketones urine uh, stripes you can buy some fancy stuff to check in your blood but at the end of the day i don't really want to dive much into it you just need to be strict with what you do and there you go um ways to measure ketone levels also if you really want to read this article i will just give you the link in the description below and then you can read it ways to measure your ketone levels i never done it and believe me if you're feeling the difference that means you're on the keto if you're still yawning like during the um being at work or especially um when you're learning when you're at school when you're in college and i'm saying like you're yawning because the teacher is so boring and the subject is so boring and just talking like you are yawning because you actually had a snack right now the break you add something and then you just feel like oh my god is you ever had that feeling like it's fucking 12 a.m like it's a lunch 1 a.m. Are you just tired? Are you don't. Are you just questioning yourself, like how the fuck I can be tired if I'm sleeping properly seven to eight hours per day? Because well, there's a different story if you're just sleeping three hours, and if you are a young lad, you 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 know what I'm talking about. Uh, you can play like computer games ten hours, go to school and sleep three hours, and you'll still be fine. Uh, but but maybe not fine, tired, but you don't really care about this. But later on, when you you know hitting your thirties and after thirties um you're just realizing the best way to be energized and powerful during the day is just to be uh, to get a proper sleep so that's like the most valuable uh, value, valuable valuable energy from it not energy drinks not caffeine not caffeine not a coffee although one coffee during like starting the day is, is really healthy i will touch upon that as well the subject um so yeah ways to measure the ketones levels i mean i'm not really like expert on this one although i know how to measure because i already mentioned and uh, from the blood from the urine i'm not really jump into that and uh, into this i'm not going to read this but if you fancy you can read it through and i will just give you the uh, link in the description below summary you can tell whether you're in the ketosis by looking for symptoms or testing or testing your ketone levels with a uh, uh, brief matter or even you have the brief, brief matter you see so we learn all the time something new urine sticks that's what i have actually uh i might check maybe today or tomorrow so i put on my instagram and we'll see how it goes or a blood ketone met meter so a blood ketone is the most accurate because apparently the urine sticks they might be not good at some in some cases um then we having the why do some people take longer to enter ketosis which they explain already tips to get into ketosis faster and then the bottom line and then there and then it's like lots of not important stuff 10 signs and symptoms that you're in the ketosis like i mean not maybe like it's sort of maybe good to know but i didn't really want to read about this so it's just the bad breath weight loss increase ketones in the blood increase ketones in the breath or urine appetite suppression which i'm currently on this one this is amazing it's a freaking saturday i just drain i just hydrate properly and i just have so much energy although i'm thirsty right now increase focus on energy short-term fatigue uh yeah that's when you're getting to ketosis 
uh, short term decrease in performance. That's also you will might you might feel tired on the beginning, which yesterday I was so tired. Oh my god, uh, digestive issues. I never had one of those insomnia. Uh, uh, one big issue for many ketogenic uh, dieters is sleep, especially when you when they excuse me when they first change the diet. So this is like a really easy solution for it. Just take the uh, five HTP. So and you and there you go, like uh, boosting your um you know um melatonin level. So so the tablet is called Five HTP. I will touch upon this subject as well, and then you can do this on the daily basis, or you can just take it because uh, you just uh, don't uh, feel like you want to go to bed. So that will just boost your melatonin level, and then you just will be have like an easy bed. That's also really good for people who. You really want to force to sleep six hours because like 80% I think of the population are able to sleep six hours and they'll be fine. But I'm not one of those people. I need to sleep seven, eight and even nine right now if like you're doing like a heavy duty, um, you know, work on the daily basis. So like eight hours, that's 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 for me. Uh, but some people, yeah, some people might sleep six hours. Obviously, if you're taking steroids, then you don't really give a fuck, aren't you? So you can sleep like even five hours and do like heavy, you know, laboring and then do the heavy workout. That's what actually Arnold Schwarzenegger was uh, reading about his book. So, I mean, I don't, I, I like the guy personally, so I don't really going to tell like he's just, reading, you know, typing the bollocks. But uh, the thing is with his book was, he was basically trying to convince like if you want to do more in your life uh, in your day you need to sleep less and then he was actually putting uh, he was sleeping five hours per day but don't quote me quote me on this one but definitely was six or less <clears throat> so with six hours for me right now jesus i would be like a fucking zombie i won't be able to focus at work and right now i'm working on the heights so i can't work on the heights and thinking about like ah, I want to go to bed. I need to be like one hundred percent sharp, which I am because I'm just sleeping properly. And this is just we just back to that circle, right? Circle of life. Well, won't have lots of energy. You need to sleep properly. There's no any other way around unless you on the steroids. You know steroids. So that's that. There we go. Like I mean, that's also like a good approach. I mean. And just simply because if you have like healthy diets, the steroids, uh, I'm not against taking the steroids, although I'm not taking anything and uh, never going to do because I don't really need that stuff in my life. But if you pro, like pro um, bodybuilder, pro athlete, there's like, I think it's just, just normal thing to take steroids. And then, then, then probably you can sleep six hours or five hours. Although, um, if you want to regenerate and build your muscles and we know the muscle structure is just breaking and building up together breaking out and breaking and uh, building up to make it bigger is only happening during the sleep so if you sleep less you're not really building your body and there you go Aaron Schweitzenegger convinced us to sleep six or less hours so but then you have the answer because he's on the steroids he was on the steroids <clears throat> so then you can build your body and regenerate your body faster so yeah <laughs> Ah, what's uh, my uh, bottom line? What's my punchline? That's well, well, you're just reading the book and then you're just realizing, like, yeah, six hours sleep or less. Tell me about it. Okay. Insomnia, the bottom line. Uh, several key signs and symptoms can help you identify whether you are under ketosis. Ultimately, if you are following the guidelines of, guidelines of the ketogenic diet and stay consistent, you should be in some form of ketosis that's what i said like ultimately if you are following the guidelines of a ketogenic diet and stay consistent you should be in some form of ketosis so that's basically what you need to follow that's that's the most important part if you want a more accurate assessment monitor the ketone levels in your blood urine or brief on a weekly basis and there you go so i can actually check this today or tomorrow and I'll be, uh, you know, tracking this. But also, this is like, this is what, this is my personal, like I 100% agree with this statement. Ultimately, if you are following the guidelines of a ketogenic diet and stay consistent, you should be in some form of ketosis. 
So that's there you go. That's what you need to know in the first place. If you want a more accurate assessment, uh, that's what I read already. Excuse me. Well, that being said, if you're losing weight, enjoying your ketogenic diet, and feeling healthier, there is no need to obsess over your ketone ketone levels. And that's also my approach. Like. I'm feeling great. I want to do it. I'm feeling energized. I mean, not like right now because it's my first week, but uh, feel great. You don't need to be obsessed with checking that. Also, <laughs> because I'm like a robot, my friends actually laughing for me like, which like you can do like for one month or two months, the same stuff, I like eating the same thing. Because right now I'm for the, this, this month, I just have like the same things, but I'm just preparing them the different way. But I've just doing the broccoli, chorizo, a few kinds of cheese uh, with obviously lots of supplementation, but supplementation I'm talking about like, because the people just thinking like supplementation is just the, the pills, the magic pills. Supplementation is just the Himalayan salt, the vitamin C, the green tea. Um, obviously I mentioned the 5-HTP, which I need to use right now because of the heavy duty, you know, work. Um, but the supplementation is just the normal common pure, things uh, on daily you know life everybody have like a caffeine is a supplementation as well but just people don't realize this but on top of that obviously i'm using some other stuff which i will touch upon on later videos uh, but i just want to build up this channel for the keto um gradually and this is not the finish yet i jumped to the stuff the last stuff um but we're just going to read a little bit which was uh, we finish on the why do some people take longer to enter the ketosis? We know that already um, because uh, you've just been eating so much carbs, so you just have so much glycogen uh, storage in your, you know, body uh, and the muscles, um, the liver and the muscles, and it's going to be a little bit longer than that. But after a week, you should be fine. Anyway, uh, tips to get into ketosis faster and. Then we are going to finish this. So I'm jumping a little bit around. I hope, guys, you don't mind. This is just me. Uh, switch, switch is switching. That's a that's, that's common, common thing. Um, so tips to get into ketosis faster. Uh, just going to, not going to rush this one. Although, like you notice, I'm, I'm, I'm reading fast. It's, I just need to work on this one and there is no other way around to not doing the videos. I just need to do the videos consistently um, on a weekend basis in English and I'll be fine at some point. If, if you struggle to get into ketosis, here are a few tips that can, you, can help you get there faster. So eat 20 to 50 grams of carbs per day and this should be encourage your body to produce ketones. There you go. I actually on the streak 20 grams. That's why I don't need to measure it because like I said, and I mentioned before, and I'm going to tell you one more time, I'm eating 500 broccolis. Also, I have a different approach right now because like really strict uh, breaks on my workplace, which there's like just two tenors and one half an hour or so. And that means I swap into just two meals during the day. I will explain this in some vlog in the Instagram later on, uh, how you can maintain just eating two meals instead of three to four meals, which I had the other keto diet, which was like uh, f uh, three, four to even five meals per day. But also with uh, the last work I had, I had like a two long break. So I was able to maintain that, like, you know, uh, breakfast, two meals, uh, at work then like a fourth meal um after a workout or before workout and even doing the supper so like fifth uh like fifth fifth five excuse me five meals but right now i'm just doing intermittent fasting on daily basis with just the morning and then fasting 12 hours to eating the second meal so basically i have like in constantly intermittent fasting i just constantly have like 12 hours of the fasting so 12 hours of the fasting, eating 12 hours of the fasting, eating 12 hours of the fasting because it's 24 hours. So that was like the easiest ways to, to understand this, to do this. So you, it's not the rocket science, I'm eating at six and eating at six, right? 12 hours, six, six, six. So I'm starting my work at seven. So I eating at six, I get into work at seven and there you go. So, and then I'm not eating anything at work. So people eating lunch, people eating some crap food, junky food, and then I'm eating again after i finish my workout guys 
I'm not eating just as soon as I get to the home. I'm not eating at four. I'm actually doing the workout from four to like hour and a half. Maybe later on, I will try to even do the two hours. Um, and then I'm just eating just after straight after workout. And then I have a couple hours for myself to do uh, maybe to do some YouTube content, playing some games. And then at the end of my day, actually reading a book in English to improve my English. So uh, there you go. And this is my like a routine. But um, this is just me. I like to talk a lot. So I just jump to another subject. Um, so what was that? Produce ketones. People who struggle to enter the ketosis may need to stick to the lower end of the scale. Um, I need to stick to the lower end of the scale. Um, and they mean what they mean by it, like just to get to that really low amount of ketones, uh, excuse me, to carbs on a daily basis. But the best approach is just to not even think to eat more than 20. And there you go. Track your carb intake. Uh, this helps to ensure you eat 20 to 50 grams of carbs per day. That's what I said. Um, and don't underestimate your carb intake exactly because there is not, we're not eating 20 carbs to be, um, how to say, to help us to eat less calories. That doesn't really work like that because somebody might, okay, 20 to 50, ah, I'm just gonna eat 60, ah, I'm just gonna eat 70. So that's like probably most of the people thinking this. Is not about your calories, because the, somebody will say like, oh my god, it's like, what's the difference? I'm just gonna eat 70, I will be in the keto state. No, you won't, mate. You won't, you won't be in the keto state. It's not about you eating like 50 grams of calories, excuse me, like 50 calories more or 200 calories more. It's not about the calories, it's just about to your body, it's in, in order to swap to the keto, can't get sugar at all. So that's why it's just 20 gram of carbs not from the sugar, from the vegetables. Although there is some other stuff or other stuff which you eat will just have some trace of carbs as well. So that, that will add to the equation equation of the daily 20 grams of the carbs. <clears throat> okay, uh, track your carb intake. Obviously avoid eating out while there are any menu keto friendly restaurants. Um, eating out make it harder to track your carbs. So uh, unless you obviously um, like um, bodybuilding and your fitness uh, into the fitness and you know some proper restaurant keto friendly restaurant and then you can just give them your list list of nutrition in that meal so they can prepare exactly to your notes then you can eat or if you're in the restaurant with the uh, meals that are explained the macros and nutrients uh, I never seen one of those, but I was actually had an idea. I want to, I want to do this like online, maybe a keto, uh, takeaway or something like that. So if I will be doing this, I will be doing the way, like you actually know exactly everything from the scratch, what you eating, uh, what's the brand of the salt, what's the brand of the steak, uh, how much macros the steak have, do you know, the grammar and stuff, everything. So that's supposed to be. That, that, that's the keto friendly restaurant. So the keto friendly restaurant for me is not just because they're doing the keto. The keto friendly restaurant is supposed to be approaching the professional way to the people who want to be, who firstly are professional already, and also for the people who want to get into that because um, how you are going to count the macros uh, from the meal uh, with using like your mobile app, like for example, uh, I'm using the. Uh, Fitness poll, yeah, it's fitness poll, I think. So, um, yeah, there you go. So, uh, keto friendly restaurants, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know about that. Be aware of hidden carb sources. So, that's what I said. Like, even if you're not eating the carb uh, meal, there's always trace factor of it. So, you might just uh, easily overextend the 20 grams. So, that's why I'm using the application. A fitness poll to you know it's, it's a really good application because you can scan the barcode and of uh, every food you're eating and then uh, you will get that trace hidden factors of uh, carbs and then you can just add everything what you eat during the day and do like really consistent and proper diet for yourself <coughs> excuse me it's easy to overlook the uh, condiments oh i don't know that word <coughs> almost finished 
condiment. All right, condiments. Condiments? Um, they, they mean like a spices? Usually the spices don't have uh, that much of like a carbs. They, uh, lots of salt, which is uh, usually the bad salt. It's not a Himalayan salt, but you shouldn't be that much aware of, of it, of using like a, if that's what they meant. Like a spices, but many sauces and dressings are high in the carbs. They obviously you don't. But basically, the keto diet on the beginning, like for the first month, is just strict diet. You're not using any prepared prepared to eat meals. You're just doing everything from the scratch. So you're not going to do any sauce from the you know from the jar or whatever, unless you're doing your own sauce. But then you have to be aware of how to actually create one. You need to be aware of co co coconut flour. Uh, with the coconut flour, you're just doing like a one tablespoon of this, and then you can just add like a, a some, you know, the passata. So that's like really low carb, but not like a whole lot, like a whole pack package of passata, or whatever. Just everything needs to be counted down to the proper way to not exceed exceed the uh, the carbs, and um, and you can do like really nice. Uh, you know, just cut the garlic, you can eat uh, as much garlic as you want, it's not going to do anything wrong with uh, your keto state. So, um, you just need to dive a little bit into the cooking, and that's it. If you've never done it before, the cooking is excellent way to, um, you know, remove the stress. I really like, I really enjoying, although my Instagram maybe looks like a shed, because I don't really care about, like, um, that much, how to prepare the... Uh, food for making the picture at the end of the day to you know may prepare that food and eat for the purpose which is uh well what's the purpose of eating to have the energy right the purpose of me of doing the the food is not to put nice photo on the instagram but at some point i might do uh, maybe on the weekend some better photos for you guys because well i, I agree i agree if it looks nice on the picture like most people will probably like to try it and then when you're looking at most of my pictures, there's like some uh, stuff on the frying pan and you have no idea what's that. Um, so that's why I think I need to do the pictures like before, not just after, just before. So before you will see the whole, all the structure, the ingredients and, and such. Uh, but many sauces and uh, dressing are high in the carbs. So that's uh, mentioned already. Increase your intake of high quality fats. And that's what I do actually um, on my uh, two breaks at work. I have like a flask with the coffee and uh, I put in over there like three to four spoons of the coconut oil. So I basically drink in the coffee with coconut oil. Also the butter ghee is amazing. If you never drink with the butter ghee, like a bulletproof coffee with the butter ghee. Oh my God. It tastes like you eating like um, butter cookies. Like this is that, that taste. Like it's amazing. But it to be a proper, proper, proper butter, not some shitty, you know, uh, shitty oils, mixtures, whatever. It to be a proper one, and you will really be amazed by the taste. I am to get at least seventy percent of your uh, calories from healthy fats such as nuts, um, nut butter, extra virgin oil, olive oil, uh, coconut oil, avocado oil, avocados, meats, eggs, and fatty fish like salmon. So yeah, like you can just basically do your diet this is like really nice um from those sources like lots of eggs and just don't exceed the cheese because the cheese is not really like a proper um proper keto fat um but still it's a fat so i'm actually eating on daily basis the cheese but as you can see, and the nut butter don't really exceed this one as well it's like nut butter have like a trace of you know the sugar so um, you can eat of them on daily basis, but not really exist. And then later on, you obviously adding also like really important factor, which is dark chocolate because lots of magnesium in it. So um, after a week or two, you wanna eat like a <clears throat> you know one uh, one bar, not like a whole lot bar. I'm just talking about like you know one bar, which is like two cubics, right? Like a small tiny piece, or maybe you can add a little bit more extra to it. Um, avocado, uh, avocados. Obviously, I'm, I'm uh, eating like a half to my uh, breakfast. One half of the avocado. Uh, nice, really nice source of fat. Good fat, meats, eggs, and fatty fish like salmon. So I really like salmon. I really do. Although I'm um, this period on this month, I'm not even going to eat um, salmon at all. And next month, I will probably change 
not like drastic changes, but then I will probably eating like uh, every second day the fish and with remaining what I'm eating right now. I will boosting my diet. I will gradually, if you will be following my channel, I'm following the Instagram, I will gradually boosting my diet, changing the stuff. So right now it's like really strict and like two meals constantly the same, which some people might be just like exhausting to eating the same stuff. But if you're preparing the different way, you you know you can prepare the omelette in the way which is salty and in, way, in the way which is like really sugary. Although we're not using the sugar, but there are some other you know stuff you can just replace it and basically eating like sugar free and carb free, but with like really nice taste. So they're like a zero sugar uh, you know syrups and stuff and such. Also you can use the erythritol or or uh, the other one is erythritol and xylitol, I believe so. So yeah, you can use one of those and this is like still a sugary taste without sugar um so if you're on the keto you probably, you probably know exactly what i'm talking about if not you can just search and buy it uh, try a short term fat fast a short term high fat fast such as an egg fast i can help you get into ketosis faster as it's very low in carbs and high in fat short term fat fast so you just basically well, eating the eggs only or something? I don't really know that. Um, but although I don't really feel like I need to know. If you want to dive into that, you can just, you know, check. There's uh, some um, clickable content. Trying intermittent fasting. So that's what I do right now. I'm in the keto with the daily fasting. I will explain that as well. It's my first time I'm doing it like that. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoating. Like, oh my God, I feel so amazing. And right now, the first week, I actually feel like shit. But although I'm really happy, so sort of a mixture of shitting happiness. Although I'm not shitting myself, so just, just you know, uh, just saying like that. <laughs> Don't quote me. Uh, fast like intermittent fasting may help your body shift its fuel source from carbs to fat while maintaining its energy balance. Use a medium chain triglyceride, which is MCT supplement, so obviously I'm using it, but Keep that in mind, if you never been on the keto and you're just trying to get to the keto, just over exceed that because you will literally shit yourself, shit yourself, shit yourself. And just um, And it's not about just the MCT, it's working this way, but obviously I will just touch upon the MCT. There's going to be a, like just one video about the MCT. Uh, what's that, what's that do and why are we taking that? Um, but in general, if you if ever in every meal you have to take that to the equation to your head, you don't really want to exceed some value of the fat. And I think like every meal, like maximum of sixty gram of fat, don't want to jump more than that. I think there might be even too much for some people. Maybe you want to go with uh, like a forty gram of fat uh, combined to like uh, four meals, which is going to be hundred sixty gram of fat. But if you need on a daily basis 200 gram of fat, I'm just talking right now about the macros to obviously get to the um, equivalent of your daily uses, use calorie, calories usage. So, for example, if you need to hit 200 grams of fat per daily basis, so then you want to split this to four meals to eat 50 grams of fat on in, in each meal. And the bottom line is if you will exceed the fat, you, you might just shit yourself because your body didn't get used to to get that fat. There's more into that, obviously, uh, but uh, I don't really want to explain this right now. I probably will do this some other videos. As you see, there's lots of stuff. You just I'm just reading one thing. It just taking me like ma more than one hour and reading one article just simply because I'm adding so much other stuff from uh, you know my background, my knowledge. So there you go. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff lots of stuff to learn lots of stuff to do some other future videos hopefully they're not going to be that much long like this one um so yeah we're having the mct supplement which basically boosting our metabolism and boosting the uh, getting to the keto keto uh state. well more like uh, boosting the ketones already uh exercise more um Although one spoon on MCT oil is usually the 150 grams, so if you're going to do like a bulletproof coffee with three spoons, it's going to be 450 uh, calories, so this is already like a meal, and this is like already more than you need for daily basis when you're fasting. If you want to actually use the MCT, actually I done on the morning MCT, so 450, so 
Twitch, so you lying to us. You actually add something. Oh, wow. Well, I drink the, I, I drink, I drink my breakfast. So I didn't mention that today. I just need to follow my Instagram and then you will see uh, what's going on. Um, exercise more. So actually I will do today uh, cardio, but after I will finish my Magic the Gathering stream. So the idea is to stream 11 hours today. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll, uh, I actually prep myself with four liters of water and prep that water uh, it's a sparkling water i prep that water to put in the simale uh, simale himalay salt i'm thirsty already oh my god um so i'll be fine and we are having the uh, we are exercise more so yeah i will do the exercise today maybe not heavy maybe just the cardio i have the stationary bike so um that will do and then test your ketone levels re 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 regularly regularly are we supposed to uh, spell that? I mean, this one uh, regularly. Regularly, oh, this is actually regularly. Testing ketone level regularly. A level helps give you an idea of whether you're on the ketosis, which lets you adjust your diet accordingly. So, thank you very much, guys, for listening. If somebody was listening, oh my god, I'm thirsty. Uh, um, I'm really happy I actually done this video because that's going to be a start of new era on my channel. Basically, the stuff which I've been uh, fond of, of for the last three years. Um, I even was thinking like doing this in the first place. Um, but uh, there you go. It's going to be a keto and gaming channel after all. So if somebody uh, like it, that's great. You can even give me a like button. I really much appreciate. Um, so I will try tomorrow do um, another keto video. Um, what I was talking about, I want to do, like, why I'm on the keto. Or maybe I will just find some article. Um, either way, I will find some article, but I don't really know what it's going to be. So, yeah, we're just, I'm just going to figure it tomorrow on the, on the morning. I don't really want to, you know, do much longer this video than it needs. So, I'm just going to thank you guys one more time if somebody was listening. If you want to and try to... Go to the keto state. You can follow my Instagram uh, because I will try to do uh, <clears throat> not like everything was on the keto. I will just try to jump from my shoes and to show you guys like what I'm doing. I was just explaining the stuff, what I'm drinking. Like for example, vitamin C, why I'm taking that. Um, apple cider vinegar, why, why I'm taking that, why it's healthy. So everything what I'm doing on my daily basis, everything what I'm eating on my daily basis, every supplementation and then um, by doing those videos i will learn stuff as well more stuff and then i can you know add more more stuff into into the channel and improve in some way and the other content is currently the magic the gathering so um as you might notice so it's going to be a magic the gathering on saturday stream hopefully and maybe even sunday <clears throat> and on the weekends also i will do i will try to do like two videos on the weekends um from the keto point of view which i am currently i am and then when i swap again to whatever i like to eat then i think i will do the vlogs <laughs> how crazy my cheat days or how crazy well it's not really a cheat day when you're swapping to the carbs you don't really care anymore so how crazy i am when i'm eating like lots of junk food okay so stay stay tuned for more thank you very much guys for uh even if you spend a little bit of time uh, listening to the article, if you want to dive into the keto, I think uh, my channel is going to be like a, a good uh, way. Maybe, uh, well, I'm not the expert. Uh, maybe I'm not doing the like a professional videos and they're probably like really long ones, but I reckon, uh, well, uh, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good content. That's, that's, that's what I think at least, but maybe I'm wrong. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know really how to finish. <laughs> so I'm just finishing right now. We're just finishing right now. Stay tuned for more. For more. Have a nice weekend, obviously. Have a great day today. It's a Saturday. If you're at work right now. Well, that's a shame, right? But still, uh, you are improving yourself. Day. Every day is uh, it's a good day. Just keep that in mind. It doesn't matter you're at work. You're still doing something for yourself, right? You're saving the money for some future goals. So uh, uh, be positive. Try keto, that will give you more energy, 
Uh, you don't need to be on the diet, you know, for the rest of your life. You can just jump into a couple of months, feel much better energized than uh, trying to understand why the keto is so great. And it's really important to understand how to eat to be energized. Okay, I'm just going to finish. Just switch finish because you're never going to finish that video. Yeah, stay tuned for more. Okay, take care and bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.